this could change AI image generation forever. Hello, my friends, and how are you doing? Today, I want to show you something that sounds amazing to me. It is a new model still in research that is called Omnichan, and it tries to rethink image generation in a really interesting way. As you know, large language models are already very influential when it comes to all language related tasks, and they really improve how we interact with machines. For example, do you still use Google? Google or do you go to Claude or ChatGPT to ask for the answer? But of course, when it comes to image generation, achieving such a unified model that can help you with different tasks is not really something that is explored so far. And maybe until now, let's see how Omnichen might solve this. So this is a new kind of image generation model that is heavily based on large language models. And it is able to, of course, generate images, but also to go much further. It offers a range of features that simplify and more importantly, unify the entire image generation process. So first of all, let's talk about the unification part, because I feel like that is a huge issue with the image generation that we have right now. For example, stable diffusion and flux need extra components such as control net and IP adapter to manage different tasks. Omnichan promises to eliminate the need for them and by doing so making the process more streamlined. You simply tell Omnichan what you want to do and that is basically enough. So for example, Omnichan will do things like edge detection, human pose recognition, depth maps, and so on, all in one model in one process. So instead of relying on specialized models and the cumbersome tasks of keeping them updated and knowing all the different settings and requirements, the model does it for you. And for me, that sounds like a dream. This is promised to be all part of the Omnichan model. And of course, this leads us to the simplicity of all this image generation. One of the major struggles with existing image generation models is how complex it is to use and maintain all the additional components. By that, I mean the extensions, the nodes, the embeddings, the processing models, the pre-processing, and of course, all of the different settings, the folders, where the models go, the keywords. It is a whole deal. You basically need an Excel sheet to keep track of all the best settings to get the most out of this model. Now, Omnichain promises to largely get rid of this complexity. But more than that, it also reduces the cost of the intensive pre-processing or using additional or multiple models at the same time. So even that is a huge advantage. And another thing they promise is knowledge transfer. Now that is a huge step into the future because what that means is that right now, when you create an image, for example, with stable diffusion or flux, every image generation is its own task. It is not connected with each other. So the models can't access the history of these tasks. You can't really say like that, but do it a little bit brighter or have less people in the background, but make the same image. Omnichan explores this ability of the knowledge transfer across different tasks. And it also aims to learn within a unified format instead of splitting up the tasks into different models. So this is also a very important step because if you think about as SD right now or Flux, it uses external input like a depth map or like an IP adapter. So it doesn't really know what is going on there. And with Omnichan, because everything is in one model, it can understand that and go or attempt a chain of thought. Now, what does a chain of thought actually mean? It is important for the reasoning. So if you create an image in just one step, in just one process, there is no space to question what is the best method. Instead, 
think about a way that is different. An AI looks at your prompt and tries to understand what you want to do, finds the best methods and applies the solution to what you actually want to generate. For example, you might not know if a depth map or a Kenny map might be better for the image you want to create, or you might not know if it, that certain circumstance, a high risk fix or an upscaling afterwards with an add detail allura is the better solution. Now, if you have a model like Omnichan promises to be, it can go step by step, figure out what you want to do and then find the best solution for you. And of course, on top of that, this is a multimodal model, which means you have text input and image input so that, for example, it can do face swapping, style transfer, things like that, and go from an image and also apply what you want to do. So for example, you can have an image and say, remove the person on the left from my image and it will understand and render it accordingly. So these are huge changes in how we interact with image generation. And this is basically the future if it actually works. Sadly, right now the model isn't out, but they say that they will publish the source code soon, whatever that means. And I'm really looking forward to play with that. Although I really wonder and I really hope that this is able to be run on local hardware and also more modest hardware requirements. But we will have to see about that in the future. But let me know what you think about this kind of model with these abilities. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and see you soon. Bye.